Hey guys, John Morgan here, and I'm going to show you how to make an emergency funnel for putting oil in your car. So our van has been burning a lot more oil lately. It's getting old. Recently, hold on. on our trip to the beach, I was like, oh, I better check the oil because I know it's burning it. And then I checked it, and it was um, it was like more than a quart low. It was pretty low, and I was like, oh, dang. So we bought some oil at uh, Walmart, and I didn't have a funnel. I, I was looking for a funnel there, and I couldn't find one. Um, and as you can see, I mean, here, bring it over here. Uh, the oil. So here's where they put the oil in on this vehicle. But it's kind of far down to be trying to, I mean, you can try to pour the oil down. But you're probably going to miss it and it'll get really messy down there. So, um, after checking the oil level, which I did just just now, and you should always check it on a flat surface um, if you can. This, I'm a little off flat right now, but um, I checked it earlier while I was pulled into the garage. And it was down to the, the bottom line on this. Um, and here it's even a little bit lower, but so it's like right here. And so you want the oil between this mark and this mark, and really you want it up here. And this is the fill line. So I'm below, not not quite that far because it's on, um, like I said, on a slight hill on the driveway at incline. So um, we didn't have a funnel. And so what I was gonna quickly show you was to make a funnel, emergency funnel out of a, a simple um, bottle, a uh, water bottle. So. Gotta finish the water off. Better not to pour it out, not waste it. And then, um, you simply just cut off the top here. A um, pair of scissors, knife. I've used a knife before. And anyways, cut it off. Uh, what I was gonna, what I was saying is that we even used like some. Uh, garden pruner things that kind of crushed it but it still made enough of a, a, a cut there that I was able to then pull it off Anyways. Um, all right so once you've uh, taken or removed that you want to get all all the water out from um, as you can see there's lots of water droplets and you want to dry this out because you don't want to have oil, water in your oil that's not good. So, got to make sure this is 100% dry. Um, you can use paper towel like this, or uh, I, I think I used a, a dishcloth, a clean dishcloth before. The best thing at hand that you can cleanly, you know, clean this all out. Um, I still have a little bit up there. So, there's our funnel. Make sure it's dry. And, there we go. Now we just stick it right in here. Okay, here we go. So here I have my oil, um, and I know I need to put about a liter in. So here we go. I like to stop, make sure I'm not doing too much. So I've already poured about two thirds or three quarters of a, a quart. A little more. You don't want to overfill because overfilling is just as bad as under having too little. Um, all right. Well, I guess before pulling that out, I should check. All right. So again, I should be on a level surface. But, all right. So now I'm I'm about that far and um, that's about a this is about a quarts worth right here so really I need another half a quart but this is also not level 
So for video purposes, I don't want to do it right now. On we we pulled it out here so there's better sunlight. Um, just double checking. I always like to check twice. So I'm gonna put just a little bit more in, um, but not like a whole bunch because I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to overfill. And getting the oil out is a lot harder than putting it in. And the rate we're going, we're filling this up every two to three weeks, which is way too often. So I am burning a lot of oil because there's no oil on the ground. All right, that's everything. So then you just bring it out. Then you can clean it out or wipe it out and recycle it. That's it. And you put this on. Emergency funnel right there. And this actually works really good because this one's pretty far down in there. Um, there you go.